everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray, and welcome back to the Jedi Knight, Episode 5. Last time, we found out that Tarnis was actually a Sith Lord, and that he is in the Jestakar territory, and we need to go and locate him, and I think we've located him. Or have we? Oh, Jedi, think the stars. I don't see a planet prison anywhere. That's not good. We've been such fools. Darnus, he's a Sith. Yeah, we know. I've come to stop him. What happened here? Darnus tricked us. Said your Jedi were going to shut the project down. Kind of are. To bring the planet prison here. Keep it safe. Thought we were saving the Republic. We brought Darnus the prototype. He turned on us and killed everyone. <laughs> Hang in there. I'll get you to a medical bay. Okay. Why did I say that? Tarnas has the planet prison. He'll use it. Prototype creates a massive heat signature when activated. Run a thermal scan. He'll find Tarnas. Planet prison needs time to build a power. Enough time for you to destroy it. Save. Coruscant. Oh, God. <laughs> Poor man. He didn't deserve this. I'll run a thermal scan from one of these terminals. Come on. Maybe throughout all the dark side which Kashila has, maybe there's just like this tiny bit of goodness. Not not light side goodness, just this tiny bit of, oh, yeah, I'll get you to a medical bay. Yeah? Maybe that's how I'll play it. You know, I'll still be a dick, but... You know, like, every one tiny bit, she won't ever do light side, I promise you that, but one tiny bit, maybe she'll just say something nice, and that's it. But that was, that was, that was accidental, I didn't realise I said something nice, and I wasn't going to restart the whole conversation, just, uh, just fix up one line, because it doesn't, it doesn't really impact the story in any way, to be honest, apart from, hey look, I said some kind words during your dying moments, Ah. And I've gone the wrong way. Ah, oh, how typical of me. This is the thing that we need. Running a thermal scan. Oh, the technician wasn't kidding. Something's really lighting up. Tracking. Here we go. Sector 167, coordinates 8863. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The signal's coming from the ruins of the Jedi Temple. That Sith must be laughing himself silly. <laughs> Talk about a sick joke. The temple ruins are in a hazard zone called the Works. People go in, but don't come out. There's an old elevator down to the Works near here. Hope you're ready for anything, because that's about as much as I know. We're going down there and we're killing Tarnus. End of story. I'm ready. Let's do this. Yeah, let's do this! Oh yeah. Uh, and we can get something for Kira, but I don't know if I should really bother with... Where, where's, she, where's, she, where's she gone? Get back out here, Kira! Why do, you, why do you do that? I don't know if I should really bother gearing up Kira for the time being. Maybe I will later on, but the fact that though there's no point when it comes to Knights of the Fallen Empire, obviously there's a point at the moment just to try and boost the power up, but when it comes to Knights of the Fallen Empire, there won't be any point in gearing Kira up, so maybe I'll just give her some crap gear here and there, because you don't really need much to get through the story when it comes to your companions. It's like this. Does she use strength? I don't think she does. Uh... No, she uses willpower. Yeah, so anything that I get willpower from, might just might just give it to her. But I wanted those twelve basic combinations because I wanted to gear myself up. I do like this as well. This is this is very very pretty. Honestly, the sky it's just very not eerie, just sad, really sad that all of this all of this work has just gone to waste because some Sith decided to destroy it. Never mind, eh? Or technically, was it Bioware that decided to destroy it? Because it was Bioware who decided, well, we're going to have the Sith destroy Coruscant. Damn you, Bioware, for coming up with that story. <laughs> Damn you! Right, where are we going? We need to go and see... Now, if I was... I think I remember this, actually. If I was my, um... Sentinel, I could have, uh, just skipped past these folks, I think. Could I have? No. Well, yes, because I remember... Did I, did I not get... Force camouflage, the, the the Jedi Knight equivalent of force camouflage at an early level. I can't remember, but I thought I did. Because I managed to skip past all of these and go straight to him. 
But anyway, I have to kill them this time. Never mind. Well, that would be quite impractical, wouldn't it, Kira? Why would you eat a lightsaber? Ooh, anyway, Tarnis! Departing Coruscant now, Father. The planet prison deploys in minutes. The Republic will have no choice but to surrender. You return to me as a hero of the Empire, my son. Our victory is complete. I wouldn't count on that. What's this, Tarnis? A loose end? For shame. Shame! You come to die, Jedi. Well... I was thinking on having a party, but I guess dying works too. I've come to put an end to you. Channel your rage, my son. Don't let this Jedi steal your moment of triumph. Your blood flows through my veins, father. I cannot fail. I just find it disgusting when they say stuff like that. I mean, I know they're father and son, but when people say, like, your blood flows through my veins, it's kind of just like a... Ugh, kind of moment. Even though it is actually natural, but hey, it just still sounds disgusting. But hey, you're dead anyway. Die, Tyrannus, and what we've got? 125 credits for a Sith. That's all you have. What? I'm disappointed in you, Tyrannus. I'm really disappointed in you, but let's heal myself up. And away we go. Jedi filth, you have killed my son. That was gonna happen. You pay with her life, my master. I swear it. You have no idea what you have unleashed, Jedi. There's no place in the galaxy to hide from my wrath. Tarnus was weak. I spared you future embarrassment. I will inflict unimaginable suffering on your people. Billions will die because of you. You would have done that anyway. You control your secret weapon facilities. All that power is ours now. My son's death will be avenged on the entire Republic, and you will bow down before I let you die. I see where your son got his overconfidence. You'll die just like he did. My hatred makes me stronger than you can possibly know. I have hatred too. The pathetic masters that Darth Umbral has returned. This time, there will be no mercy. Such a charmer. I miss him already. The planet prison is officially scrap metal. Looks like we saved Coruscant. Until, I don't know, some Sith decide to attack it again. But I, I can see that won't happen for hundreds of years. You were just along for the ride, Padawan. I wanted to help, but your ego kept getting in my way. As much as I'm enjoying these toxic ruins, maybe we should get back to the Senate Tower? Are these ruins toxic? Are they doing a lot of damage to us, technically? I don't know. Oh well, Tarnus, we're just gonna leave your body there, yeah? Yeah, bye bye, Tarnus. You can, uh, just, uh, rot here for all eternity, or until somebody comes along and is like, ooh, who is this? And then they find out, like, 100 days later, it's Tarnus, so, yeah. Bye, Tarnus! They'll come back to that temple in about 100 years' time, and they'll be like, oh, a great battle ensued here. Oh, it must. Who, who was it again? This, this, this man! He was called Tarnus. He must have been in like a massive battle against a hundred people before he died. And then the real truth is, no, he just went up against a level 18 Jedi Knight. With an ego. Vasuthra, we have won. For now. You know, they said they were going to slaughter millions, but... No saw this coming, Master Satil. Not even the Jedi Council. Well, billions. We've sensed it for weeks, General. If you'd told us of your secret project, we might have averted this disaster. Here she is. Hero of Coruscant. Glad to have you back. Coruscant is safe, but I had to destroy the planet prison and kill Tarnus. Yes, we've heard. We also know Tarnus was the son of Darth Angrel. Public comm channels are being flooded with threats from that maniac, vowing revenge. It's time we put an end to the Sith Empire. That would be reckless and unnecessary. What? The Empire has formally disavowed Darth Angrel's actions, saying he's gone rogue. It's a lie. The Senate refuses to authorize a military response. For good reason. Neither the Republic nor the Jedi are prepared for another war. We would lose. Billions would die. That's what he wants. If he turns our weapons against us, billions will die. Tarn has transmitted the details of all our top secret projects to his father. We traced that transmission to the planet Ord Mantell. Darth Angrel must have a base there. I need you to find it. 
This is a crisis the entire Jedi Order should deal with, don't you think? There simply aren't enough of us to handle every threat we're facing. Master Orgus senses greatness in you, and so do I. This mission is yours. You must be I'm mistaken. Going to. Master Kuwix left me here to help. Agreed. Take Kira. Train and protect her like she's your own Padawan. You expect me to save the Republic, defeat Darth Angrel, and train this Padawan at the same time? The Force has brought you together for a reason. Kira stays with you. We'll get to know each other. It'll be nice. I must inform the Council of these developments. Travel safely, young Jedi. May the Force be with you. All I've ever wanted was to protect the Republic. I was stationed here when the Empire attacked Coruscant. Saw the Jedi Temple destroyed. All those Padawans and Masters cut down. I started these weapon projects in their honor. There is no death. There is only the Force. Weapons won't restore what was lost. Maybe not. But I can at least stop the Empire from committing more atrocities. I already have one of our best starships waiting for you at the spaceport. Your astromech droid is prepping it for takeoff. Woo! There's civil war on Ord Mantel. It's an O-fly zone. Dock at the orbital station there and contact me. Good luck. And we're gonna go get our ship. Uh -huh. We're gonna go get our ship. Uh -huh. Kira, why have you disappeared again? Stop disappearing from me. Thank you. And I'm going the wrong way. No, I'm not. I need to go this way. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We're gonna go get our ship. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. We're gonna go get our ship. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> I am so immature. Hello, little droid. Cargo scanning droid. I am not cargo. I am a person. And there it is. The exact same one as my Jedi Consular, of course, but there it is. See, now it disappoints me with the actual decorations, that the decoration starships which you can buy are a lot smaller. It's probably about, I don't know, a third size down of the size of this. Which, so you look at it when in your stronghold and you think, you can't really fit, can't really fit in that. Not much, you, you wouldn't really move much in that, but yes. I guess it has to fit on a starship hook anyway. But it'd just be nice if it was the actual size, just so you could have that sense of scale in your stronghold just you know walk up to your ship be like whoa that's amazing in my stronghold but no and skip 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 I don't care about you C2N2 thank you yeah no one cares about C2N2 you are the worst companion ever. You're not really a companion, although you technically are, because you can sort of now battle, even though you do say, I am not equipped for battle. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You might not have a gun on you, but I can give you a gun. I can give you a gun. Right, ship's hollow terminal is in that room. Oh, of course it is. Scowl. 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 Hello! Come in, Coruscant Control. Requesting permission to launch. Permission granted, Master Jedi. Coordinates to Ord Mantell have been uploaded to your Nava computer. Good hunting. I'm not a bounty hunter. Jeez. Uh, shall I go? Can, can I? Can I? Can I please see that? Shall I go for that? Well, no. Well, I should probably go to the fleet. Really? Although, wait, wait. I can't have that in my offhand, can I? No, I didn't think I can. Wait, I can. It's, it's saying I can have it in my offhand, but I I didn't think I thought I could only use generators. I I don't know. I don't really want to go that go for that. If I just go for that, I'm gonna go for the accommodations. But I didn't think you could. You, I could dual wield because I got. I I'm, I thought I must have a generator in my hand, being a Sith juggernaut. But uh, guardian, you know. Why do I keep getting Guardian and Juggernaut mixed up? I don't know. But anyway, right. Uh, level 19 as well. So we will go for the one which I tried to go for before, which is Generate 4 Focus. When I get stunned. Lovely. Right, let's make our way to Ord Mantel. Can I get to the Hollow Tower before we reach Ord Mantel? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah! General, I've arrived at Ord Mantel. Perfect. But I should probably, yeah. Just reset, reset, reset. Reset. I do this every time. Reset. 
Uh, cause it, I, I don't know why that happens. Because whenever you click your holo terminal before you reach a planet, once you've actually reached a planet, it fades to black because it's trying to activate the cutscene again. But the cutscene is already playing, so it just fades to black. So I, I kind of wish they'd sort that out, but oh well, I guess they might need it to activate it. General, I've arrived at Ord Mantel. Perfect timing. I've just finished coordinating things with my man on the ground there. SIS agent Atau followed the enemy transmissions to a specific location planet side. He'll give you the full details. Your T7 unit can interface with Darth Angrel's hyperspace data transceiver and download his communications. Take the droid with you. Oh, I want to. T7 equals oiled and charged. I'll be playing the Jarg against myself while you have all the fun. Think of this as a lesson in acceptance. Oh. I get that lesson a lot from you. Take a shuttle to the surface and meet Agent Atau. Good hunting. Barsuth, we're out. I'm not a bounty hunter, you know. Good hunting isn't something you say to a Jedi. I've visited my share of seedy ports, but this one's the seediest. Just as well I'm staying behind. I'll make sure nobody steals our landing thrusters. Somehow you will get through this. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Have fun down there. She's totally jealous. She's jealous. Don't deny, Kira. You wanted to come. Does it actually lock her out from me? Yeah, uh, well, oh no, actually, I think I need to be on the ground first. Well, I mean, I, s I assume I could probably still take her up until the point where it tells me I need T7. But still, I wish they would update this so that it has brand new going to the planet cutscenes. And he I really hope they do do that for Knights of the Fallen Empire. They need to just... I get the feeling Knights of the Fallen Empire will be a massive revamp. And if they were to not change the cutscenes when you're travelling to a planet, well... It kind of feels like, well, they didn't put in as much work as you'd hoped. You'd hope, when it comes to Knights of the Fallen Empire, with the rebrand they're doing, they would go the extra mile. And that would be going the extra mile for me. Because I just want to go to a planet each time and just be like, Oh, that's beautiful. And here we be on the lovely planet of Ord Mantel. And where do we have to go? We need to go up there. Alright. Ah, oh, newbie players. You're an actual newbie newbie because you haven't got the sprint. Although, actually, maybe you're not. Oh, no, because somebody probably plopped that on you. But if you weren't a newbie, you'd have had sprint. So, you don't have sprint, so you're a newbie. Aww, oh, it's, it's so cute. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh, I must have. There we go. That That's the problem for me. And I have T7. Agent Otal, Republic SIS. Welcome to Ord Mantel. Hope you enjoy war zones, Master Jedi. I do. This planet's full of them. Open war will be a refreshing change of pace. Personally, I prefer life in the shadows. It lasts longer. General Var Suthra had me send a probe droid to the hyperspace data transceiver's location. I learned two things. First, it's on an island. Second, they don't like visitors there. My probe droid wound up disintegrated. Make sure that doesn't happen to you, eh? No one can stand up against me. Must be nice. Is uh, your little droid blaster proof too? T7 is small and hard to hit and tricky. When you find the hyperspace data transceiver, plug in your T7 unit and download everything you can from its logs. With any luck, we'll learn what Darth Angle's been up to. We've seen you. Bye bye. Right, where is this island? Hopefully it's not too far away. Oh yes, of course it's over there. It's like in the one spot you don't need to go to as a smuggler or a trooper. Oh yeah, we didn't see what abilities we've got before. Uh, focused striking. Reduces the cooldown of Sundering Strike and Wandering Strike. Warding Strike even. By three seconds each and increases the focus they generate by two. Lovely. And whoa. Master Strike rank three. Force Sweep rank four. And Force Kick. Kicks the target and interrupts its current action, preventing that ability from being used in the next four seconds. Thank you. I'll move you over there with all my interrupts. Well, are you my interrupt? Hold on. Get, get, go out my way. Uh, yes, it sort of is. So I like to. I, I think I'm gonna actually put all my interrupts in the corner from now on, just so that I know where they are. Because the amount of times I'm battling and I'm like, where are my interrupts? I don't know where they are. Ah. Oh well, I've kind of hit a dead end. Oh well. But hello, what are you doing back here? You just. Just, just standing here. I mean, you look like you could be a credit spammer. Kind of. I mean, you're just like a level one away from the world. You could be a credit spammer. If you're not, I apologize. But if you are, boo. I, of course, went completely the wrong way, as I usually do. Oh, hello. Hello. Are you alright? Yeah. You're just gonna run. Draft. 
for me to run! You know, I realize I'm not one of those people that goes around giving people a full set of buffs. I mean, you've already got it, so you don't need it, and you got Sprint, so you're not a new player. See? You can tell there. Because I'm pretty sure Sprint is locked to level 15. Is it level 10 or 15 if you're a brand new player? And then if you're not a brand new player, and if you've... Sub is it subscribed? Yeah, if you subscribed or something. I Am I getting that wrong? I think I might be actually. I think if you're subscribed, you get it right away. But if not, you get it at level 15. So maybe I am wrong. Hmm. Maybe it's because they just weren't subscribed. But I know I am. So I don't know. I always get things wrong. I always find myself getting things wrong. Seriously. There's me all being like, "Oh, it, this is what you do, and that is what you do," and then I find out, "Oh, I was completely wrong." It's happening to me quite a lot lately. Seriously. Even even when I'm at work. I'm like, "Oh yes, he went that way." What? You had that way instead? Oh. Okay. Never mind then. Never mind. I'm definitely one of those doesn't get his facts straight kind of people. Hmm. And it always, uh. Always goes wrong for me. Yes. And I'm going the wrong way again! Why? Right, up here is where I need to go. I'm actually going the right way now, I think. But no doubt I'll be wrong about that too. Oh, oh, hello. Hello, little droid. You can just, uh, stay out my way. I know you're level 10 and I can probably kill you in one hit, but you can stay out my way. Seriously, were those droids really meant to threaten me at level 10 compared to my level 19? These droids, are they supposed to be threatening me? I, I highly doubt it. I mean, I can get right up close to them and they won't attack me. So, it just goes to show how much of a threat they are. But you, you're a little bit more of a threat. Well, I could probably kill you. Hello, you are hiding behind a rock. That's nice. Come on, T7. Come and help. Oh, oh, oh. I, I, I hate that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That was a bit weird. I don't know what buttons I was even pressing then. And all of a sudden she was moving that way rather than that way. Okay, that was a bit weird. Ah, uh, you crowded around a nice little bonfire trying to keep yourselves warm. Ah, oh, that's nice. Unfortunately, you must bleed to death. And we are here in the facility. No doubt we've got to battle our way through a whole bunch of people. Destroy the hydraulic gearbox. Whole bunch of people on my way. Nope, but here's an elevator that's actually arrived on time for once. And open! T7, where'd you go? What? Now, now, if you could have just got through there without me, why don't you just go ahead? Oh, whatever. Hello, Imperial Recruit. And you're dead now, Imperial Recruit. Uh, 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 come on, can I just run past you? Yep, yep, bye bye! <laughs> That's always hilarious when you can just run past them, even though they can clearly see you. Oh, these guys I can't run past, but I should probably kill you first because otherwise it's going to be a pretty tricky battle. Try to skip past as many as I can, so that just I just can't be I can't be bothered to kill them all. Uh, why where, where are we going? We need to go over there, over there. Can I defeat Lieutenant Markovic? Markovic, Markovic, Markovic. Where are you? Uh, there you are. And heroic moment. Strangling Markovic! Oh damn it, I wasted the force choke, but hey, you're gonna die with my heroic moment anyway. Flamethrower! Oh, you're using Ravage! Nice if Warrior knows Ravage. Hello! Name Markovic, rank Lieutenant. That's all you're getting from me, Jedi scum. Yeah, I told you this problem was gonna happen where the wings is gonna get in the way, but oh well. Your big talk is wasted on me. You may as well kill me now. You'll never hold me prisoner. Hey, what's that droid doing? Get away from there! Hyperspace data transceiver equals operational T7 scanning transmission logs. T7 found planet prison designs and TARNAS communications to Darth Angrel. T7 located the design files codenamed Desolator. Darth Angrel creating world killer weapon using Republic technology. Tarnas's talk on Coruscant about creating non-lethal weapons was a lie. Of course it was! Republic is in great danger. You won't live long enough to tell anyone. Oh. That was pathetic. Why why did you even bother trying? Ooh! Boots, thank you. Why did you even bother trying? Seriously. Uh but anyway, we need to use the hyperspace data transceiver. Name Markovic and rank Lieutenant non functional. <laughs> One less Imperial to worry about. Jedi equals harsh and fair. Desolated files downloaded, T7 electromagnetic pulse and hyperspace data transceiver is permanent file erasure. 
T7 plus Jedi equals return to ship. Jedi Vasutha needs report. Can I just use uh, quick travel to... Well, I can use quick travel, quick travel, but just not quick travel to my ship. Oh, well. Wait, but apparently I need to go speak to Agent Otao first. But you said I need to speak to... What's his face? Vasuthra. What are you on about, T7? What are you on about? I'm going to take this law object. Thank you. Maybe I just wasn't reading that correctly, because you know me. I don't pick up on the small details. Like, seriously, I, a small detail will go straight over my head, and I'll be like, wait, did they say that? And yes, I realized that editing. Well, yes, they did. T7 with you? Well, technically he is. It is. She is. Whatever. Already. That was quick. Indeed it was. It was surprisingly simple, really. Guess it helped being a Jedi instead of a probe droid. At least the Empire has one less hidey hole. I'll put together a team, see if we can secure that island for our side. You should report to General Varsuthra. Be seeing you. His name as well just just molds perfectly, doesn't it? Varsuthra. Just sounds perfect, don't you think? Varsuthra. Here you go. Have some buffs. I'm not normally that sort of person that gives out buffs, but there you go. It's free, so you might as well. Wait, why have I got to go to the airlock first? Oh, is something going to happen in the airlock? Oh, most likely. Most likely. Let's see what's going to happen. Somebody's probably going to come out and attack me. Oh, no. Oh, hello. Uh, Imper yep, Imperials. Oh, Kira, no! So your master was here all along. Well played, Padawan. Your lies convinced even Darth Angrel. You had one job while I was gone, Padawan. Can't you do anything right? Nice to see you too. Imperial Intelligence noticed this girl wandering the station and alerted my master. Darth Angrel came from 20 parsecs away for a personal interrogation. Unfortunately, we were led to believe you weren't here. Told them you were on Corellia. <laughs> Suckers. No matter. And I left my ship we behind? What? Surrender. Unless you want your Padawan to die. He's lying. He can't kill me. Angrel's orders. Ha ha ha. No one will walk away from this. You do realize you're vastly outnumbered. Not to mention outmatched. I'll never understand what drives you Jedi to throw away your lives. You risk certain death to free this girl. Why? Some misguided sense of duty. I care a great deal about my Padawan. Sure. I'll punish anyone who threatens her. My... Aren't you the interesting one? Pity you have to die. When I present Darth Angrel with your head, he'll be most appreciative. We'll see. We'll see. And I can't use heroic moment. No! Oh well. Uh, don't mind if I fall asleep. Thank you. Oh, you're pretty much dead anyway. Wow, that was difficult, wasn't it? Very difficult. Oh no, T7, your health is low. Well, we're done anyway. And there we go! Kira! Don't take this the wrong way, but I've never been happier to see anyone my whole life. The next time you fail me, Padawan, don't expect a rescue. Oh, good. I was afraid you might get all mushy on me. Angrel wanted to know everything about you. Threatened to kill me if I didn't answer all his questions. You look pretty good for someone tortured by a Sith. We never got to the actual torture part. He was sending me to Dromund Kaas for that. Angrel left with an Imperial Admiral to refit a battlecruiser. Sounds like they have some new weapon. T7 scan Tarnas and Angrel design schematics. Desolator world killer weapon attaches to battlecruiser. Desolator? We should warn the General about this right away. And we will! And I'll pick that up. Where's all the bodies gone? Are they zombies? Did they walk up and just... <gasps> they are zombies! Let's let Va... I can't say that. Let's let. Let's let Varsuthra know of the situation. <laughs> T7 transmitting files now. Looks like Tarnas was combining all your weapon projects to create something codenamed Desolator. We believe Angrel's arming his battle cruiser with it. It's no coincidence I've lost contact with Agent Galen. The enemy is raiding our weapon research facilities to build that device. What planet was Agent Galen assigned to? Nar Shaddaa. It's hot territory. Neutral. But the Empire has a strong presence there. We can't let Darth Angrel complete this desolator weapon, whatever it is. I need your help stopping him. Securing Nar Shaddaa is vital. 
But there's another target just as important on Terrace. You have another super weapon on Terrace you didn't tell us about? Of course he you didn't. Not say more until you're there. I can only do one mission at a time, General. What's more important, securing Narshada or Terrace? Narshada is the immediate danger, but Terrace holds the key to all of this. I'm trusting your Jedi instincts on this. When you reach Terrace or Narshada, contact me. And good luck. Alright, so, next time we will be going to Taurus. Although we could essentially go to Narshada. Do you reckon we should do that first? Go to Narshada first? Because I normally don't do that. I normally just do it in order and I do just go to Taurus first. But we can do Narshada. We could. But it's up to you. So anyway, I'm going to grab that. Thank you very much. And level 20. Let's see what abilities we've got. We're level 20 already, my god. Challenging call. Cool. Taunts all enemies within 15 meters, forcing them to attack you for 6 seconds. No, 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 I don't want that. Uh, and Force Leap, rank 5! Woo! Love, right, love Force Leap. Uh, and, nope. Apparently I don't get the one where I can leap at force ra uh, close range uh, on the Guardian. But never mind. So anyway, that is it for episode 5. And I will see you next time for episode 6. So thank you very much for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, and a farewell to you.